Hello students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and the Acid Base Reactions module. This is video number 12 and this time we're going to start looking at the um, definitions of or of descriptors, I guess, of acid base solutions. And there's two very important ones that we want to distinguish here between and they are strength and concentration. So when we're talking about acid and base solutions, we need to be very clear about exactly what it is that we're talking about. And if I take the second one of these first, concentration of an acid is about the ratio of acid to water. Now, often when we're young, we, we have drinks to which we add water, like cordials. And so therefore we use words like, oh, it tastes really strong. Well, what we mean is really concentrated. We need to add a little bit more water. Or this tastes really weak, which is uh, our way of saying, there's just too much water here. I can't taste much else. As chemists, we need to realize that these sort of common uses of these words are actually incorrect. And we need to realize that when we're describing the ratio of acid to water in any solution, we're talking about its concentration. So therefore, we talk about a concentrated solution, which is a high solute, low solvent. In our example, there would be uh, lots of acid molecules or ions to uh, low water or a dilute solution. And the dilute solution is one in which we have low solute to high solvent. So in other words, lots more water in our dilute solution than there is in our concentrated solution. So that's one way of describing acid and base solutions. But what about strength? If strength isn't about the amount of water, what is it about? Well, the strength of an acid is its degree. It's actually a measure of its degree of ionization. And if we were to talk about a base, then it would likewise be its degree of ionization or dissociation, how readily the ions separate into water. You can also talk about the relative ease with which either water molecules will um, take that proton that acids can donate uh, or pull apart, separate the ionic bonds between uh, the ions in a base. So the strength of an acid is a measure of the degree of ionization. So, for example, if we look at something very simple, such as hydrochloric acid, when this is in solution, it's going to form hydrogen ions and chloride ions. If there are lots of these and few of these, then we would say this is a strong acid. And in fact, that is the case for hydrochloric acid. However, if we had an acid where there was lots of the HCl molecule, for example, or the acid molecule, and few of the ions, then we would call this a weak acid. So the terms strong and weak are associated with the degree of ionization. For hydrochloric acid, the first one is the correct one. It's a strong acid because it fully ionizes in water. All of the HCl molecules are actually ionized to form H plus or hydronium ions, H3O plus with water and chloride ions. So we can have a strong concentrated solution or a strong dilute solution. We can also have a weak concentrated solution and a weak dilute solution. So these, these terms are not interchangeable. They have specific meanings and descriptors when we use them about acid and base solutions. So I guess one of the things that's very important then is that we need to be able to calculate acid strength. And if we're going to calculate acid strength, then we need to know to what degree the acid, when it's added to water, is going to form the hydronium ions through the donation of a proton to a water molecule and the anion. 
So, if this is regarded as an equilibrium, then we know that because our general equation for equilibrium is the concentration of the products of the concentration of the reactants, if this section over here, the product section is high, then we're going to have a high K value. And that's going to mean we're going to have a strong acid solution. If on the other hand, we have a solution which does uh, an acid which does not readily ionize, then we have a lot uh, or a higher number over here on the reactant side. It's what's high and our product side or our ionizing side is low. Therefore, the K value is going to be low. And this is an indication of a weak acid. Notice these definitions are not related to how much water we have, only the degree to which the ion is prepared to donate a proton and form the ions in solution. We can actually calculate this in a mathematical way with a particular type of equilibrium constant known as Ka, the acid dissociation constant. And that's something that we're going to, or acid ionization constant. And that's something that we're going to be looking at in a future video. Thanks for watching.